What's interesting that's come up, a topic that has come up recently in California is people are trying to figure out how to break their lease and leave early without being liable for their entire lease term. Makes sense. Nobody really wants to do that. And while we would receive phone calls like that to get advice, I'm also a real estate attorney, so I provide that advice. This is not legal advice on this video. I have to say that. So don't take this as legal advice. Go talk to your attorney about it. But I just want to talk about one specific little defense on the issue that you have as a renter on the issue of breaking a lease and being liable for the entire term. All right, we'll talk about that in one second. Tight. All right, everybody, thanks for spending a couple minutes with me today on the Real Estate Minute Show. So you let's say you have six months left on your lease. And by, by the way, take a step back for a second. We're getting a lot of people calling about this now, um, I'd say like threefold on wanting to break their lease in California and leave California, which is the reason why normally people break their lease because they have a job transfer and they got to go up north or they got to go down south, whatever. Now it's like they're leaving the state. So it's people are leaving and a lot of these people lease now because almost half the state leases, if not more. So you run into this quite a bit. So let's let's make let's talk about an example, make it easy. You have six months left on your lease. You pay two thousand dollars a month and you're on the way to Colorado, let's say. And uh, so you call me, you say, hey, Jay, I'm paying $2,000 a month. I got six months left. Do I owe the landlord $12,000 to get out of this lease early? And the general answer to this question, because remember in law, if you don't know, there's exceptions to everything. Yes, technically you are liable for the 12 months, but the landlord can only collect that future rent that's due under your lease, plus any breaches and legal fees and all that kind of stuff that's along with it, as long as they show that they've acted reasonably in mitigating your damages acted reasonably in mitigating your damages. So what the hell does that mean? That means that that is your biggest defense. Now, if you don't have a defense, let's say the landlord sues you for the $12,000, you know, which could happen if you just leave and pick up and walk. A lot of times, as a side note, you just want to negotiate with your landlord. Maybe you pay a month as a termination fee and then you leave. Uh, but let's say you're actually, you just leave and uh, he sues you for the $12,000. Your defense, if not quiet enjoyment arguments like it was leaking or the water didn't work or those kind of things, put those aside. If you don't have any defense, okay, your biggest defense is did the landlord act reasonably in mitigating my damages? So that means that can you bring in a broker like myself or some other expert that will come forward and say it would have taken if the landlord acted reasonably and diligently to release the unit when I left, would they have been able to, how long would it have taken? And what rate would they have gotten if they acted reasonably in trying to lease it right after I left? So you leave and let's say you're in a hot market. A lot of markets in L.A., Southern California are very hot for leases. Things are leasing in days. Let's say you could bring somebody in and says it would have taken the landlord two weeks if they would have put the property on the market and they would have gotten at least the $2,000 you were paying. Then you're only liable for two weeks, not six months. That essentially brings down the entire liability from six months down to whatever that expert says, as long as the judge agrees, jury, if you're in a jury trial, plus costs and expenses and prepping the unit and some other things. But that's the general rule. You're liable for the entire lease term of future rent, less what you can show could have been mitigated if the landlord acted reasonably in trying to relet your unit. All right. Simple logic, but most people don't know that. And I thought it'd be important since it's happening a lot more for me to put this out there. Plus, I don't have to answer a million emails and texts. I could just send the link to this video. It makes it easy. All right. Thanks for joining me on the Real Estate Minute Show. We'll talk to you next week. We've got another great topic for you. Thanks for your time today.